Hey folks, Rob back with another Rob Plays, and this week we're looking at Exelon, well the C64 conversion of it, which was um, converted from the original Spe Spectrum version by Nick Jones, uh, and published by Houston in 87. Now this one is one of those ones I kind of, I wanted to do because it's a pretty decent game, but at the same time it's pretty damn frustrating, so let's go. Basic idea, you're this dude Vitork. <laughs> And you're sort of an explorer, from what I gather. You've got to basically fight your way through these 100 zones, actually over 100, which are all single flick screeny type deals, and just survive. So you go through, you've got these obstacles here, like this, that need to be destroyed with your grenades, and that's what I'm firing, which is done by holding the fire button down. And you've also got your blaster, which you access just by tapping fire. So in this case, you know, at the bottom you can see ammo and grenade counts. So basically what you do is you just go through these rooms and just get to the other side. So, and you've got the, yeah, you've got different obstacles like the those missile emplacements and these spheres. It's really just about getting through cleanly. It's a pretty tough game. I mean, let's be honest. It's one of the reasons why I sort of held off wanting to look at it is because of that. It's just, I would say at times it's almost unfairly tough. But at least getting somewhere here. Ah. Like, yeah, the way you can tell the game is probably unfairly tough. When you start with nine lives, you're not a cat. Uh, Alright. There's a pattern you've just got to discern with these, in terms of just... And it gets to the point where you can just sort of... Uh, Yes. All right. So you go through your ammo gets replenished. Um, thankfully, when you die. Oh, nice. Ah, that one is a frustrating one. Get through the. And those sort of blue towers next to them are teleporters. Ah. Can do this. I've gotten further. Yeah. Then you disable it for points. Get the teleporter up. Take that rocket out. And the white one is for ammo. Yeah, orange one is for grenades. Ah, bugger. All right. So each level. No. Ah. Oh. No, I messed that jump up. That was no good. Each level, for want of a term, is basically made up of 25 of these screens. And when we get to the end, you get... Um, so when you get to the end, you get like points and extra life and several other things. Um, one of the other interesting aspects of the game, and I'm hoping I can... I think I can show it is that you can actually get like this exo suit. Memory serves, that's it there. So you go in here. Yes, I got it. Is it yet? You're supposedly a lot more resilient to most weapons with this. Well, that's what they say in the instructions. I kind of doubt that that's the case. But the other thing is, of course, if you get to the end of the stage with it, you don't get the bonus. There's a bonus that you'll get if you're in standard mode. Oh, come on, you damn missile things. <laughs> it is a classically frustrating game, I have to admit. Ugh, that's, that's the end. Set a score. And say we'll give this another shot. I think we could totally give this another shot, so why not? Hope that I can get a little further. You know, I, I, I appreciate this game for just how... Just how brutal it is. And while I wish it was tweaked a little bit, I do actually appreciate it for just being like, yeah, I'm a brutal game and you have to, you have to learn it. You know, I think... We do get a lot of that. We do get a bit of that these days, and I think that's it's always been 
you know, a, a, thing, a skill thing. And I know there are there are people who aren't really fans of those type of games, which completely acceptable. And I'm not gonna, you know. But I think that, you know, coming from an an old schooling gaming background, for me that's something that I just happen to find kind of interesting. Now the other thing I always find weird with this game is one particular thing with the art style. So the original game was released for the Spectrum and brought over the CPC. And in doing so, you know, the Spectrum, it wasn't a port, it was a port that actually used the, you know, the, the 16 color mode on the CPC. And when they did this 64 conversion, they used the, the player sprite is from the Spectrum, like the original mono high res, uh, I'm going terribly. The, the, the sprite was the original Spectrum high res mono graphics, but all the, you know, the, the, the background levels and most of these enemies are the CPC like colorful graphics. Well, this feels a little weird. I wish they'd, it feels a little, it feels oddly jarring. I don't know if that's just me though. But it's one of those things, you know, it's one of those things that's actually makes the C64 version a little unique, you know, as, as an example, because it doesn't have a, a single screen mode, you know. Um, that's why, you know, scrolling is a lot smoother, things like that. It's, it's sort of a little trick of the 64 that does actually serve a purpose. Come on. Bugger. It is a frustrating game, and I have to admit, the last times I've played this before, I've wanted to review it. I've usually just rage quit in, in total frustration. So, the fact that I haven't, I haven't decided to swear my head off completely, which I've been known to do in the past, but I try very hard not to do with the channel. Is something that is actually quite a, uh, quite a benefit. Oh, game over. Yeah. A bit rubbish that time. But there we go. That's uh, excellent on the C64. It's actually, it's one of those games that's actually really good fun, but it is frustrating. If you're not a big fan of frustrating style games, you're probably not going to want to play it. It's probably worth skipping. You know, but otherwise, I think it is worth checking out, you know, wherever the 64, the Spectrum or the CPC, whatever your, you know, your preference is, it's definitely worth checking out on them. Um, if you're in for that that sort of challenging kind of game, so with that um thanks again for watching. Hope you hope you enjoyed this, and you know if you did, please consider a comment or a thumbs up. They really do help with visibility, as well. Um yeah, subscribe for more as I release them. You know, I usually release one a week, and then of course if you've got a few bucks a month spare um and want to support me doing some sort of larger videos for the thing, do consider uh, hitting you know hitting the uh, supporting the, the campaign. Yeah, so thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.